done recently. This was done in '98. Yeah, As I remember, you you had a little ink sketch on a piece of paper that you pulled out of your stack of millions of drawings, and you started on this canvas and you reproduced the drawings faithfully to that piece of paper. Yeah. So you, you had a little. You had a little sketch of Mike's ears over here in the corner, yeah. and uh, there was a, a spot on the, the paper, and you painted that spot in a, a sort of a dirty tone, and you also painted that into the painting. Yeah. So you painted the page just the way you saw it. Uh -huh. It's a wonderful rendering, and it is very uh, modern in the sense. She was full of affection. Yeah. There does seem to be trouble on her forehead. Yeah. But uh, she's, she's, that place of comforting really comes through. This is uh, some almost 30 years, 30 years uh, before. This is 1967. Yeah. And this is 1997. Yeah. And here we have a woman with a cat. Yeah. This is the same woman, the back of her head in the car. Yeah. Oh, the roof. Yeah. It's a friend of yours. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. So those two paintings are connected in a way, in time. Yeah, I forget how traveling it took me when I was with her and me outside. Uh huh. This is in Am Amherst as well. Yeah. Your interiors are wonderful. They they really they're true to the space, but you often do these things like this table leg. It's drawn. It's yeah. Drawn up, it almost seems to vanish into the yeah. floor. Yeah. Just the way you've drawn it up with a brush. It's almost like things are really here, but they're still ephemeral and they still move. And things aren't permanent. Uh -huh. People are permanent, but things aren't uh -huh. in, in your paintings, it seems. Uh -huh. Goes around like like a record. <laughs> uh -huh. This one's called the Color Essence Color Machine. Yeah. It's done. Color it's done in 1976. Yeah. Where were you then? Um, just before uh, I moved away from Mount Pleasant, I was at the time of the neighbors to Dr. Craft. Uh huh. <laughs> um, Dr. Kraft lived in Mount Pleasant. Yeah, he moved uh, to uh, the house next to ours. So the other people were old and... Um, this is a painting? Yeah. Who is the person in the painting? Um, no one in particular, you know, uh -huh. on this person. Uh-huh. Uh, and it, it looks like uh, she, of all the people. Yeah, yeah. 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 And she's sitting in front of a table of some kind. Yeah, a table with a color machine. It's a color machine. Radiating a color. Uh, uh huh. Uh, You've used this almost this Renaissance device of uh, of light in this painting. Uh, yeah. Where did you learn that? <laughs> um, probably an art class. An art class. An art class. Do you remember how? Uh, Yes. So you were you're contemplating the color machine here, the color essences. Yeah. Um, color essences are something that you you have a theory about. Yeah. Is that right? right. Yeah. Jim Kolakowski. Yeah. Um, when did you meet Jim? Well, he used to come on come and visit me and he liked his coffee. He's got a thing in the coffee day. Uh -huh. But he suffered a lot. He suffered a lot, yeah. yeah. And you knew him up in Turner's Falls, right? Yeah, and uh, Greenfield. Greenfield, yeah. uh -huh. People use humor to get themselves through suffering, yeah. yes. Yeah. And yeah. do you think Bob used uh, humor to get through suffering? I don't know. I don't know. Bob is not. It is hard to know how someone yeah. else feels. Yeah. But you seem to have a way of painting how people feel. Yeah. 
in your in this painting here, yeah. you started this painting a, yeah. a year ago or so. Yeah. After you heard about Jim's death. Yeah. Do you remember that you pulled the drawing out of a pile of drawings that you had? Yeah, yeah. And it was a drawing of Jim with, with his coffee. And uh, you did that painting yeah. from that drawing. Yeah. Just the way you did Mike the Cat over there. Yeah. Yeah. You did a wonderful job of uh, bringing color into a, a black and white drawing. Yeah. And this painting of Roddy, this is from 1968. This is on that gym and paper. Yeah. It's on uh -huh. Is he still living? Uh, Roddy? No, Roddy died, Roddy in, uh, died. a little yeah, over a year ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he just had the Christmas lady. He did Christmas with us. And uh, three or four days later, he got a call. And he died. Cool. You had a lot of loss last year. Yeah. You knew Roddy from... Uh, I knew Roddy a long time. Mm -hmm. He came back in the beginning of the hippie days. Beginning of the hippie days, huh? Yeah. And this painting is back from that era. Right? Yeah. You have the stars in the sky around yeah. him. And this like flower. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, like you can connect it to the stars. Uh, Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> this flower welling up out of his chest. Uh, 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 a beautiful smile, huh? Yeah, that's very wild. Is that taken from a photograph? Uh, really, uh, was this was this painted from a photograph? From a photograph. It was. Uh, you did this in 1983. You were living on South Street at the time? Yeah, yeah. Well, I went back to Greenfield. Before you went back to Greenfield. And we, the viewer, are above this person, looking down. Yeah. And what about her? What about her? She was hearing voices, people talking about her on the street. So she's in the street and we're seeing her from above. So there's a lot of tension created by a diagonal yeah. line. Yeah. You have that one side and the other, it's just the, the line of the curve, but it, yeah. it strikes up a uh, kind of a tension, yeah. almost like a high tension line that yeah. goes through. Yeah. In fact, her ear, yeah. her ear is almost in the center of the painting. Yeah. Hmm. Well, as I remember, I, you yeah. were sitting in the studio uh, and you weren't painting. And I suggested, why don't you do a portrait, uh, a self-portrait, uh, and fill it full of the love that you see. Uh, and you came up with this idea. Uh, you've, you've got this wink of humor yeah. looking over your shoulder like uh, that. Yeah. Huh. And it's the yeah. same gold as the oh, yeah. hair. It's a boy, yeah. They're supporting you. Hmm. Yeah.